Hi, I'm Ann at the corporate office, and today we will train on our dental HMO. Our members can now enjoy using this great dental insurance, as it is the best dental insurance available in the U.S. today. With an astounding 95% retention rate, our members choose to keep this wonderful dental program and greatly rely on it. Remember, through our association Group Power, we can offer special group pricing that's not available to just anyone. No cost exams, no cost x-rays, and only $5 for routine maintenance teeth cleaning every six months. You will be totally amazed when you compare this dental HMO pricing to any other dental program. There are a few specific instructions that are mandatory when selling or using this service. Remember, when your member experiences a successful visit to the dentist, that means we have done our job well. So please take notes and pay close attention to this training to ensure maximum results. We believe that a satisfied member is a customer for life. Please be aware that although this dental is available nationwide, we are still in the process of attaining approval to market it in each state on an individual basis. Please refer to your back office as this list is constantly increasing. As you may know, this dental HMO has been providing quality dental care since 1954 and has an incredible dental network of over 189,000 providers nationwide and over 50 million happy members to prove just that. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing required is for the new member to choose whom they would like to be their primary dentist. Failure to choose a provider or choosing a non-participating provider will result in your member receiving a default provider randomly chosen for them. Also, please be aware that your new member cannot choose a specialty dentist. It must be a general dentistry practice. When and if the member will need a specialist, it will fall upon their general dentist to create a referral for them. The dental provider list is available through your back office. This list is updated monthly, so please check periodically. PDF versions are available as well. Now, let's move on to the application process. The applications for this dental HMO can be accessed through your back office. Please be advised that they are state-specific applications. Let's go over a sample application together. This one is for a California member. The first step is to add the sponsor's IMA number on the top left section. The second step is to add the dental practice ID number, name, and phone number on the top right section. Some plans offer the option to choose for an individual or a family plan. Please be sure to select the correct one. Now the next section is for the primary member's personal information. Please enter all required information accurately. Now let's move on to the family information section if applicable. If there are dependents on the account, please list the dependent's name, date of birth, and the relationship to the primary. There are no age restrictions on the primary or spouse. However, any dependent must not be over the age of 26. Once a dependent reaches the age of 26, they will need to purchase an individual plan of their own. The next step is to provide the correct billing information. Please be sure to choose only one method of payment. We suggest that you double check this information for accuracy. An error in your member's billing information may cause a delay in activating your member's account, and it may also cause your member to miss the enrollment window. We'll go over that soon. Now, to complete the application, the member must sign and date the first and second page. Now that we have learned about filling out an application correctly, let's go over the simple methods of submitting it. There are two easy ways to submit your member's application. We encourage you to do the first one. You have your own personal IMA website available to you for promotional purposes and enrolling your new members. This is very important to remember. Using your own dental promotional website for enrolling your member is the fastest way to get your member's plan activated. Upon a successful application submitted, the website will generate a confirmation number. We recommend that you keep the applications with the confirmation numbers available for future reference. If you experience any type of difficulty submitting your application online, you can use our second method or contact the Care Center for assistance. Our second method for submitting an application is to fax your two-page application to our new accounts department. It generally takes one full business day for your application to manually be entered by our new accounts department. 
Please wait until the following full business day to check your back office for a confirmation number. Remember, for faster results, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, you can submit your applications online. The next thing we will discuss is how to calculate your new member's effective date and when they will receive their ID cards. Since this well-known dental insurance has been around for so long, it is important for you to understand that they have their own guidelines in place and we must be in compliance with them. With that being said, I will now go over their enrollment process. There is a small open enrollment window available each month for you to enroll your new members. It is on the first day of the month through the tenth day of the month. If you submit a successful application on or before the 10th, you can ensure that the account will be effective on the first of the following month. Here's an example. If your member enrolled on April 9th, their account will be effective on May the 1st. We do have a two-day grace period, but please remember that we strongly recommend that you submit your applications on or before the 10th of the month. Now, let's talk about applications that are submitted after the open enrollment period. Any sent applications that are not within the open window enrollment will become effective on the first of the second following month. Here's an example. If you submit a successful application on the 17th of April, the effective date will be on June 1st. We recommend that you explain to your member the enrollment process and let them choose the best option that suits their needs. Your member will receive two sets of ID cards. The first to arrive will be their ID cards for the additional services. This will arrive soon after enrollment. The second set of ID cards will come directly from the dental HMO company. These ID cards are generally sent out on the effective date. Thank you for watching our training video on the dental HMO. If there are any further questions, please feel free to contact the Care Center. And remember, we are always here to help.